Hey guys, it's Linnea with Talking About Talking Speech Therapy and I am here to do another video for my AAC Let's Get Cooking. This resource is going to be on Teachers Pay Teachers either as an individual resource or you can also purchase it in my AAC Let's Get Cooking bundle. It is marketed and it is inspired by cooking with AAC students, but please, please, please understand that this does not just apply to students with AAC needs. It's visual. There are visual recipes and that's going to help any child. So cooking with kids is a fantastic language opportunity. So I have some of the visuals that I are included in the product. This is just some of them, not all of them. So I'll go ahead and show you a couple of those. This first one is my core words that I will be able to target in this activity. This is just some of the core words. It is not all of them and I may not use all of them, but it's a bunch of potential possibilities. So that's that first visual. My second visual is just a sheet that tells you what materials you need, what are some different words or vocabulary you might use after you're done. And you can go ahead and display this for the students so that they can see what's going on. It's the fringe vocabulary words. Next up, we have a discrimination task. And this is provided in a bunch of my uh, resources, not all of them, but a bunch of them. And it's just the task where the students have to go through and identify things that you do use for making popcorn. You don't use water, you don't use a pie shell, but you do use a popcorn bag. So you, the students can go through and identify those things. This could be done as a pre-teach or a follow-up, however you wanna do that. And there are also sequencing activities provided in the activity. I just didn't print any for this particular video, but they're in there though. All right, and then next up we have the ingredients. And for this one, I had I did two different versions of uh, making popcorn. One includes using candy and one includes no candy. And I did that because if you don't wanna use candy, I don't want you to have your students hassling you because they see candy as part of the ingredients. So this one right here is with no candy and it has directions for making the popcorn. And then this next one right here is with candy can see right there at the end it does have candy in there if you want to put that in your popcorn I know I like to put milk buds in mine and as always they come in color and black and white I just happen to print one color and one black and white and then the last thing I have to show you is the fringe vocabulary and the fringe vocabulary for this sheet is without candy I should have printed the one with because I was going to use mine in my recipe and um, we'll just pretend like it's there and you guys make sure you print the right one. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's make some popcorn. All right, so first things first, right here, I have two different boxes of my popcorn so you can go ahead and you can do two different boxes two different boxes so that the students can then pick and you can have a conversation afterwards and talk about the different tastes um, for this I'm just gonna use the butter one because that's kind of what I want and I think my family wants so let's go ahead and get started so I need my visual recipe sheet which we would of course have in front of the students or up on the smart board however you want to display that in your classroom. And my first step is that I need to open my popcorn box. So I need to open my popcorn box and I will go ahead and do that. Look at me open my popcorn box. Look at that. Does anyone want to help me open my popcorn box? Just some options that you could do with your students. So now I have my popcorn. My next step is I'm going to get my popcorn bag, which I did. And then my third step is that I need to actually open my popcorn bag. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, and then it says that I need to put 
my popcorn bag in my microwave. So I will go ahead and I will put my popcorn bag in my microwave. And I'm just going to check it. It's this side up. And I'm going to be popping for one and a half to two and a half minutes on high. So I put my popcorn bag in the microwave. And then, then I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so go ahead and turn that on for the time. And now we just need to wait. So we'll go ahead and wait and I will come back to you guys when that is done popping. All right guys, so my popcorn is just about done popping. So I'm going to get my popcorn and I'm gonna take it out. All right, and my next step is to go ahead and put my popcorn in my bowl. So that is my next step. And I have this fun bowl that we got when we went to see Toy Story because my daughter is obsessed with Toy Story, or she was. She's kind of moved on past that, but it was the obsession. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to open my popcorn and I want to be careful because it is hot so I want to be careful with that all right and then once I've opened it I opened my popcorn I'm going to put it in the bowl all right. and we have some delicious popcorn if you can see that and then after that, everything's pretty optional with the directions. It's up to you. So you could use some salt if you wanted to use salt in your uh, recipe or your popcorn concoction. You could use the candy. And I'm pointing up here and there's not actually candy, but you'll have the right board. So you could use the candy if you wanted to put that in there. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to put some of the candy inside my bowl so let me go ahead and open my candy bag and I will put it in my bowl and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to turn my bowl so I can mix it up and then I am all finished and I'm having trouble finding finished and that's okay. I feel like this is a good example because the whole point to modeling is that you're not always going to be able to find everything right away and you need to understand that that's okay and your students are benefiting from seeing you search a little bit and struggle a little bit and not giving up because then when it's hard for them to find something then they're also going to think back to that time that you kind of just threw in the towel and walked away or they're going to think back to that time that Ms. V sat and stared at the board and kept on looking until she was able to find the word that she wanted and said we are finished and did not give up and move on to the next thing so and that's what's important about modeling that's why it is important so the students need to see that you're learning they're learning we make mistakes and that's what happens with typical language development we continue to learn and then grow all right so that is it for making popcorn with my resource as always, please take into consideration your students and what their allergies may be when you use this. Uh, this is a guide on how you could do the lesson. This is not how you have to do the lesson. I just wanna put that out there for some people who might need that or some people who might wanna see how someone else does modeling when they are using visuals and they're doing visual cooking. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions, recommendations, please, 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 I know I say this every time, please email me, please leave a comment. 
anything so that I know because I would like to help you guys. That's why I'm here and I need to know what you guys are thinking. All right, so you guys have a great night and thanks for listening.